Because Jane Smith doesn't like me and she's in my biology class. Or I was yeah. like, who gives a fuck? What's up, everybody? Welcome to A Conversation with Colin. I'm Greg and this is my roommate Colin. Now sometimes Colin says crazy stuff. So every Tuesday and Thursday I reach into my random topic pile, pull one out, toss it at him, and we talk it out for your amusement and approval. If you approve, like the video, subscribe to our channel, so on and so forth. Colin, are you ready? You're submitting for approval like the Midnight Society. Yeah. Right? We got yeah. a little fire going. Okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. Today's topic is high school. Submitted by Chicka Chicka 54. Chicka Chicka. Did you like high school? Um, no. High school sucks balls. I hate no, I didn't school. really like high school. It was fine. Yeah. I kind of just floated. Like, I, I did well in school, but I mean, like, I wasn't the point of ridicule, nor was I, like, acknowledged by many people. You know, like, yeah. I kind of was just there. You just know? doing your thing. Yeah. Being little Colin, skateboarding. I had, yeah. I had, I had my, uh, you know, my group of friends, and yeah. I was nerdy. and. I think I was the same know. way. I went to private high school, you know, uniforms and all that jazz, ties every day, and it sucked. I stopped bringing a book bag home like mid junior year. I'm just like, I'm not gonna do this not anymore. You know what I mean? So I coasted by, but newspaper stuff I did and that helped out. But like, you know, a bunch of jerk ass kids there. Teacher, teachers who are way too young to be teaching us. They were like getting caught up in high school drama and stuff, like being little. They were being bitches, and it was just like, fuck off. I don't even want to deal with. Well, you know why that might be is because private schools don't have. You don't have to pass certification to teach in a private school. Mm. You actually don't even have to have like a teaching degree to teach in, in private school because like it's up to them to like let people in. So a lot of young teachers get their start, or just young people get their start teaching in, in private schools. What would you tell yourself back in your high school days if you could talk to him right now? If we could figure out to time travel to the past. I don't know. Don't sweat it. Don't sweat. Yeah, that's a, good, that's a great one. Yeah. Like high school is fucking meaningless in terms of like your social your social development and like what, you know, like you worry about what people think of you and right. this girl or this, thing. it's like, it is, I don't, I don't remember the fucking first thing about high, like being in high school anymore. It's like, who gives a shit? It yeah. was, it was college uh, that was fucking college awesome. College was great. And college was like, like what I said in the college conversation, like that's four years of your life that you just can't replicate. Yeah. No ever again. No responsibility. responsibility. Yeah, like no, no like real responsibilities. Just do whatever you want. You, it's the first time you just do whatever you want. Yeah. Fail out, do really well, go party, yeah, yeah. chill and read. Like, you know, like there are people that like take it too far. One, you know, in one in one direction, especially. Yeah. People that do really well, which is great. College is where things really matter. High school, I would recommend you just study and get your get, get good grades. Yeah. Take AP Keep classes. Keep your head down, burn yeah. your bridges. Get, get make good friends. Don't get yeah, don't get hung up on some road. We'll I know it's hard. You. I know it's hard to like be. You know, I'm feeling like you know when I was young. Yeah. Get lectured by like older people. Someone tells you that, right? You're and like, it's like, well, all right, yeah, like no, you don't understand no because Jane Smith doesn't like me, and she's in my biology class. Or I was yeah. like, who gives a fuck? Jane Smith, you know, like, you know, yeah. <laughs> so it's like it's hard for people to take that advice. But man, yeah. you're gonna understand when you're not in high school anymore how meaningless it is, and how people, some people are still hung up on high school and the high school experience, and that's and those are the people who never. That's sad. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, that's the whole thing. Even when we talk about college, right? And you talk about how it's, you know. A great experience you can talk about is those were the best days of my life, right? Like they you, were. They were the best days of my life. Oh, well, I still think we're, I'm living mine. But like what I'm saying is like I think you can – the people who get caught up on high school seem like that they're the ones who never leave their town, right? And they come back and teach at the high school and, you know, coach the Little League softball. So, team. wait, wait. College wasn't the best years of your life? I mean, I, I, what I've said – what I've explained it to you right is that – excuse me. I've been eating wings. Uh, college w was probably the best consecutive days of your life. You know what I mean? Now it is, you, you know, you work for a week and then something crazy happens, you go on a trip, you have fun, blah, blah, blah. But in college it was like, you know, three days of partying and nonstop and then you go see this and then you go see a football game. You know what I mean? Like there was like, there's, college is an unmistakable experience and like you said, unreplicatable. But I still think like I'm having more fun overall probably now in terms of being able to be on the internet and do stupid things and be, have oh, money yeah, we're blessed. and have a girlfriend oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We fly have, the world. I'm not saying that. I'm saying like we're blessed. We work. We have a great job. Yeah. We, you know, we, we, we make a good living and, and, and do our thing. I'm not disputing that at yeah, all. No, no, I know I'm that. just saying like in terms of like no responsibilities. Sure. You have no money in your pocket. You don't care. Yeah. You hang out with great friends. You make like, it's like a formidable like, that's your experience. That's like a, def a college defines you. You that know, I, I, and everything you're saying right yeah. now, I totally agree with. But and I don't like, want to be like I don't look. I don't. It's not like I wake up and like oh, gotta look back and like remember. No, no, I don't feel that way at all. I wake up and I'm like I'm totally happy and blessed to be well, able to do what I'm doing. That's not but, lie. You just yeah. you wake up and you're moderately happy. Yeah, I'm like as happy as at least, <laughs> at least I can pretend. I can yeah. I can fake it. And but like I do look back sometimes at college and I'm like man like that was fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah. You of know, course. and I look back at high school and I'm like. 
That shit sucks. You know, I didn't even think about high school. Yeah, high school sucks. I do every once in a while. I'm like, I think about high school. I made some good friends in high school. Actually, my girlfriend, we went to high school together. Yeah. And we went to a big high school, so we actually weren't like friends in high school. We didn't really even know. We, like, we knew each other. We had mutual friends, but we didn't. We actually didn't hang out until after college. She went to Davis, and I went to Northeastern. And she sent me a bunch of tweets. I'll, I'll get them to you. Maybe you can put them in this video or something if you want. Uh, of or text messages of uh, of pictures of me in like the yearbook yeah. with like my friends that I was hanging out with and like the clothes I was wearing. She's like, I remember, yeah, I used to wear like like short sleeve button down shirts, like loud short sleeve button down shirts with like a, a band shirt underneath or whatever, like really baggy pants, and, like etnies, yeah. shaved head, you know, earrings up here and like. So uh, not that different. <laughs> no, my, my pants are a little tighter now, sure, mostly because sure. I'm fatter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, carrying a lot of thigh weight. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, I played hockey, so like my thighs were really strong. Now they're just fat fucking tree trunk gross tree trunks yeah um but she was sending me pictures i'm like that those were cool to, that's a cool time to think about because i was you know I'm, i've been actually facebooking with some of my friends like from high school and be like, how you doing he's, this guy's a kid this guy's in the military doing his thing yeah. it's good to hear from them you know good to, good to talk to them the, the people i met were really cool and i and uh, 12th grade for me was especially cool because that was when i felt like i was really accepted and i never was like seeking acceptance and i think that was like kind of what my leg, leg up was in when i came to 12th grade and Cheryl and I, my girlfriend, were talking about how we had this thing called the senior courtyard, yeah. where, which was in the middle of the school, like a whole open area. You could only go in there if you were like a senior. And we finally went in there and you realize like, and all the other seniors were in there, the football players and the lacrosse players and all these guys. And because um, lacrosse was big at our school, I don't know if and it's big at other people's I had never heard about it till American Pie. And um, that's weird. And, uh, and, but you realize they were all friends and like, everyone was really kind and inviting you to parties and doing all these cool, sure. these cool things and, and there was like a, a feeling of camaraderie there with people that I didn't think even liked me. Ah, you know? yeah, yeah. And like I do, I do look back on that and a lot of it was like, you know, you, Colin, you're cool, like you just kind of keep yourself, it's like I'm not trying to be loud and boisterous, I'm not trying to be friends with people that aren't my friends or whatever yeah. and I think that that's a cool way to play it. I didn't do it intentionally, I think it was kind of fortuitous. But man, like when I graduated high school, I was like, I remember when I graduated, like at graduation, I had my Game Boy Advance and I was playing Zone of the Enders, Fist of Mars on my Game Boy Advance. I wasn't even paying attention to the ceremony at all. Yeah. Then I graduated, I like went to a diner with my family. We had like dinner and like yeah. we were just hanging out, having a good time, and that was the end. That was it. Nice. You know, like and I've never I don't think I've ever been back to that that school ever again. I had a stuffed sheep under my arm and then I switched into Converse high tops to to walk to or whatever because they wanted us to wear dress shoes and I thought that was stupid. And then they tried to yell at me about it afterwards and I was like, go fuck yourself mm -hmm. and walked out. I was like, it was the best thing. And then I murdered someone. And you got away with it. Yeah, I did. Until now. Nope. The Statue of Libertations is up. But, uh, yeah. College. College is where it's at. Fuck high school. Don't worry about it. Still go. I mean, do that. Yeah, finish high school, but make sure you apply to... And do well in high school. It's yeah. important. I, yeah. that, you know, my, my, I did well in high school. That helped me get into a good college. So yeah. do that, but do it for a reason. Like, to look to the future and be like... That's when I'm gonna have that good time. That's when I'm gonna. That's when I'm gonna. You know, meet the, the, the you know girls. That's when I'm gonna meet great friends. My best. You know, with the exception of my best friend from childhood, Mike. Yeah. Who I'm like, you know, I still love and like, we're still great friends. And I have other friends from high school. Like my, my the people, my people are mostly from college. And I think a lot of people will find that about their their shit as well. Okay, well, that was a good conversation. Thank you so much, Chicka Chicka Five Four Con. Thank you for your time. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you want to see us conversate about? Let us know in the comments below. Then like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends. Until next Tuesday or Thursday, have a conversation all day. I was never into comics. I never gave a shit about comic books. Yeah, you you know, were like, raised I wrong. Your parents were wrong. They sucked. They fucked everything up for you. They did. They really did. My parents are great.